Hey guys, John here with Bill and Seafood Guys. Welcome to the first episode of Cooking Seafood with a Fisherman. Each episode will consist of me meeting up with a fisherman and cooking their favorite seafood recipe. So, for today's episode, we've got Matthew Short. Matthew Short is a commercial fisherman up in Alaska where he participates in fisheries such as halibut, black cod, tanner crab, king crab, and salmon. For today's recipe, Matthew and I will be cooking sockeye salmon poke bowls. Okay guys, after a quick outfit change, I'm back and we're ready to cook some salmon pokey. Okay Matt, first off explain to us a little bit about uh, what we're cooking tonight and uh, what our process is. Hey Matt Short here for uh, Billing Seafood guys. You got that? Nice shirt. Thank you. Uh, the first step in meal prep is pour yourself a drink first. That is a great first step. Okay, now that we have that, so for salmon pokey, our ingredients, we have wild Alaskan sockeye salmon from Bristol Bay. We have nori, toasted sesame seeds, a little sesame oil, a little rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, avocado, cucumber, green onions, and ginger. Very simple dish, but delicious. some of this grating action. That's precision grating right there. Did you just see that? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Nope. <laughs> it's really all just like on right on here. Next up is the most important part of the pokey, the sauce. Let's see what Matt's up to. Yeah, I need to. So now that we got the uh, sockeye salmon all diced up, uh, one trick of the trade here uh, before we go any further. Uh, you want to take all the fat off, the gray fat off here, as much as you can because that's going to be the fishy tasting part if there is any fishy tasting. It's going to be in the fat. So you want to get rid of much of that as you can. So now we're going to make the sauce. So we're starting with a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, we got two tablespoons of sesame oil. And then a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. And I learned today that rice vinegar is the same thing as rice wine vinegar. That is solid that, to that's know. That's what Google says, anyway. That is. Thank you, Google. Yep. That's, so we got a tablespoon of that. Guys, these fishermen know Wait, everything. One more. Okay, that's good. Full tablespoon. Okay, hold on a second, I need a drink real quick. Good call. Okay, now we need some lime juice. Uh, you could also use fresh lime, of course, but we have real lime here. I make this dish all the time, by the way. And we got two to three tablespoons of lime juice there. Now we have a little half teaspoon of ginger freshly ground and got about three tablespoons of uh, diced green onion here. I didn't measure it out yet. It's close enough. Okay. All these measurements are just kind of, eh, you know, you just got to get close. Just kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It'll be fine. <laughs> and now a couple teaspoons of uh, fine organic toasted sesame seeds. You got that? Oh, that's some nice. Did you get that? Stuff. Okay. Got it. Okay, get a little bit of this. This will be nice for the presentation also. All right, there we go. Now we just get a little spoon mixer up. Mix this sauce up, nice and good like. And 
Maybe even taste a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. Hmm. Might even put a little more lime juice here. Oh, dang it. All right. Here we go. Now it goes into the bowl of cubed sake. Try to get all those sesame seeds there. Get that in there. Give it a nice little stir. Get it all incorporated there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. And we'll be ready to go. Okay, so before we start eating this stuff, got to give a quick shout out to BBRSDA, which stands for Bristol Bay Regional Seafood Development Association. They provide a lot of awesome marketing stuff, highly promote Bristol Bay sockeye salmon, and a lot of great recipes on their website. So if you guys want, you can check out this recipe. It's on their website. Uh, it's bristolbaysockeye.org, and uh, I'll make sure, sure to post it on our Facebook page. So you got your rice down in the bowls there. We're, we're, we're making our, our pokey bowls now here. So you got your rice down. You can get, look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Go right over the top here. Good solid helping. Remember it's all about presentation here too. Get a little sauce on the rice there. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna be great. Here we go. You could have done a little better on the rice presentation, all right? <laughs> Here we go. Get some sauce on there too. Yeah, don't don't go light on the pokey. Oh. Don't ever go light on the pokey. Yeah, I can, can you smell that sesame? It smells oh, amazing. Let to make this even here. Let's yeah. see. More sauce over here. I just want to eat this. <laughs> mm, oh, mm, how about that? Look at that, you guys. And that right there is salmon pokey with Bristol Bay sockeye salmon. But wait. Made by Alaska commercial fisherman, Matthew Short. But wait, we got toppings to add, too. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. So you can do kind of whatever you want, you know. But we got, uh, we got some cucumber here. And remember, you gotta make it look nice. Presentations. That is half beautiful. Here. Beautiful this. presentation. Yeah, I, I watch a lot of Food Network. So yes. It's finally, finally helping me out here. Yep. Okay, let's fan these out a little bit. All that was for this moment. Yep. I'm hoping this will get me a call up to Food Network. <laughs> Let's see. Guaranteed. I think so. Okay, a little bit of this. A bit of that. Look at that avocado. That's beautiful. Do you see that? Oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay, we're not done. Got a little bit of nori here. Give that a little crumble. Right on top there. Wow. And if you're into Old Spice, throw a little sriracha on top, boom. There we go. That's the finished meal. Let's eat.